Right then. New area. Okay. Stuff is happening. This, like, uh, smoke always looks super weird. Sneak attacks. Press control to sneak if you uh, wish to avoid direct confrontation. While sneaking, you move silently and behind uh, hide behind cover to avoid being spotted. As enemies detect you, a meter will appear over them. White means they're suspicious, red means you're busted. And where enemies take more damage from your attacks. I kind of want to change this up a bit here. i put this on 5. Yeah. Oops. Quick save. Okay. What are you doing? Are you humping the wall? Okay, that's a little bit strange. I'm not gonna judge you though. So these are new. So wait, was the stun gun good against electronics too? Security is about living in short range. Uh, human targets and temporary disabled organic enemies. Robotic enemies are damaged and temporarily disrupted. Does this count as a robotic? Because he took over that flying thing. I'm going to assume it does. To the max. How far does it shoot? That did not do anything. And he didn't even react. Maybe I didn't hit him. Okay. We're busted. That was terrible. I don't know if I actually hit him there. Ooh, what is that? Q-beam. And for this we need dismantle. I still want to see if this one does something though. I feel like I might just not have been in range. That's a weird lean. <laughs> it's not actually leaning. Where is the guy? Oh, behind the door. Turn off the speaker. Our suit is a little bit broken. There was another dude over here. Right. Right there. Oh yeah, I disabled some. I know that was a mimic. I don't know where he went though. Somewhere down there, I think. Okay, we're getting a new gun here soon, I'm guessing. Ooh, hello. Okay, yeah, so it is actually pretty good. Um, I'll just take this one for a while. Too far, too fast, too. <laughs> too fast, too fast, too. And Johnson's term came to an end, paying the way for President Re Reagan. Uh, Reagan? Reagan? Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse uh, through similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program uh, unpopular, giving a rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had also success successfully prevented U.S. involvement in Vietnam. They're focused on solving problems at home. So many political things going on. What's that? Oh, I always look the wrong way when things are happening. Something broke off. 
I was about to say, look at this gigantic telescope. I want to use it. Oh, they have like a transfer thing flying out there too. Okay, someone talking. Ooh, I can use it. Goodbye, solar panel or whatever you are. I can't move it. Okay, cool. Asteroid fragment. Ah. Chunk of space rock. Turns into materials. Can I? Nah. It's too far. Space elevator we already read. Trans terraforming Mars. But the cost of these Mars installments and their continued maintenance is staggering and their Spartan shells are f a far cry from the idyllic Colonies pictured by turn of the century uh, inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, Transfer President Alex Yu reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field, then pick out uh, the point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this vision requires terraforming Mars, the most challenging engineering problem the human race has ever faced. Yu presents an innocuous grey moss to me. An ex uh, extreme, extremophile <laughs> file organism designed specifically for that purpose, dubbed Tatakia Kesrin. The simple looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that, given enough centuries, will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. That's just crazy. Didn't uh, Elon Musk want to do that as well? There is stuff up there now. Just just some uh, decorations, not actually stuff I can take. Alright. Stuff here though. Cool. Alright, did I check the computer? I did not, because I was just hiding. So, check this corpse. Another wrench. Should get a lot of wrenches. And my inventory is already full. I feel like I should probably... Um, well, oh, these are all recyclables that I just picked up. Oh, I have a weapon upgrade kit. <laughs> I should probably destroy some of this food that I have, especially if I don't have like a lot of them. And we have two in here, what's now, right? Okay, what do I want to upgrade though? This one, maybe firepower magazine range accuracy. Uh, oops, what could we upgrade here? Power range. It's only seven out of meters. I probably missed that one guy. Uh, I don't think I want to upgrade this one. Pressing backspace doesn't work. Okay, interesting. Yeah, see, this is the thing where I'm like, I don't know if I want to upgrade anything right now. Mm. I really like my shotgun though. What what can you do? Okay, you can upgrade that guy. I might increase the shotgun. Reload speed. There you go. Now we have a little bit more room as well. I'm going to use one of those, I think. And yeah, I don't know. Some of this stuff I should probably get rid of. The guy behind this door, right? So spooky. Hey, more bolt casters. I haven't used that one yet. Okay, let's read the emails. You're my only hope. Hey, I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sada. Join us. Demo delay. Hope. Just a heads up that the Artax propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We are still working on a slight calibra uh, calibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about. Sure. If you have to say there's nothing to worry about, there's probably something to worry about. Okay. I don't like all these noises. It's really spooky. I'm uh, just wondering if I can climb up there. 
turrets, okay. Hopefully it's a nice turret. See, what does it look like, the shape in the glass? That's exactly what Matthias asked that person. Huh. It's locked. Okay. Maybe I'll use the shotgun rather. <laughs> keep it uh, keep that one out. Something's happening to the station, I think. It's like collapsing. Oh. Can actually go in here. Another weapon upgrade kit. Shoot, man. Is there fabricate? We don't have a map from this area. There might be a map on this thing here. There is. <gasps> the science pistol armor fabrication. Okay, for year. Uh, I don't see a recycler, so we have to go outside again to get rid of some things. I might have to do this because I can't pick up anything right now. And I really would like to. What else was there? Unlock security locker. Uh, okay. Is it those? Ooh. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go back. Let's read the emails real quick though. Oh, there's no emails in this one. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh. I ran through the security thing <laughs> with a gun. And now it's making a noise. Can I shut that off? Okay, good. We can. Probably would attract people. Alright, I'm in my office. I'm wondering, I hope these things stay in here. I'm trying to put away some of my stuff into drawers. So I don't have them all on me. Because I don't need like 50 billion food items. I don't know if they will disappear after a while though. I'm a little bit worried. Um, oh, maybe putting them in a safe would be better. Because... Yeah, otherwise I would just put away my crafting materials as well. Because we have quite a few of them, but I don't know. Alright, might, well, might as well get this wrench then. I think I'm going to save one more Neuromod until we have three, so that I can get the dismantle skill down here. Break down equipment in your inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from destroyed operators. I want to see something. These are spare parts. They can be broken down into lots of materials as well. So maybe that's a be the best idea because this gives only one metal, right? This extra wrench right now, which is lame. But if we break this down into one spare part, um, oh, is it, or, I don't know, this is short for all 16 together. Oh, that's a question now. Oh, it does. Oh, that's for the stack. So one actually only gives 0 0.25. And a 0 0.25 of the other one. So actually that would be more material yield. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I won't get it then. <laughs> I'll think about this. Okay, let's continue here. Demonstration theater and executive tour. Okay, that's where they, um, they went. In one of the emails. And there was still a mimic running around here though. And there was... What the hell? What was he? Oh, he must have been this weird thing, yeah. Didn't see him at all. Slowest reaction. Let's, uh... Control... A lot of the things I have now that hear me give me exactly 10, so that should make it easy. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, too. What is that noise? What was that? Did I miss something specific now? Because I was hiding in there? 
Was I supposed to watch something in the theater? Might have been. Probably missed something here. That's okay. <laughs> Probably. It's not like something was teleporting around or something. I don't know. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. Probably was just foreshadowing. Okay, so we could actually maybe get up there. Uh, yeah, quick save here. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like there's a vent. Oh wait, there might be something. Ooh. No. Oh god. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Shoot. I'm actually recused now what I missed here. Oh well. Oh well. It happens. Ooh, maintenance access shaft. Is that going into that room? Oh, oh it sounded like something was crawling in there. Okay. Blue canisters. Oh, they put one there just in case you ran out and you, you kind of have to go through here. That's nice of them. Okay, I hear spooky voices. EMP charges. Ooh. The EMP charge emits a large burst of electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electric-based entities. It can be thrown or affixed to stay. This is probably effective against a big dude we fought at one point. Okay, we can climb this. Sounds like a poltergeist again or something. Phantom. Let's take the pistol. I want this dude to come over here. Oh, a call. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Okay. I don't know where he's at right now. That sounds like a fire one again. Oh, he does something. Oh wow, that does a lot. Damn it, I want him to come forward so I can shoot the thing. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Oh, he went behind me. Good job. <laughs> that was terrible. I was really hoping I could just lure him to that thing. I'll just throw it in his face again. That seemed to work pretty well last time. Where you at, buddy? A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, Wait, where special is he? parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Is there more than one? Yeah, a little bit of damage taken, but that's okay. Totally worth it. Oh shit. Sound like a second one. This is power. I don't want to turn this on right now because it's like touching this. Oh, is this where I can use the ball caster maybe? Let's quick save here. 
It sounded like there was a second one. Yeah, I hear one. Might be upstairs though. Calvino probably has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, Ooh. with the security roster. A stuffy idea. It's probably like an optional way in there, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Wherever that is, I'm pretty sure I still hear another one, but that might be like far away. Who knows? All right. Could repair this, but <laughs> there's some power thing going on right now. There's a graph waiter here. Uh, what else do we have? Hands on electronics. We read this already. In our. Op oh, he's there behind that door. Okay. Jeez. All the elements in this place. What do you have? Quick save. So I could open a door from here. Wait, that's not in here. Maybe it's upstairs. Because we've been there. Right? Yeah. Then may maybe it's upstairs there. Okay. Scary. I kind of want to get rid of him. And not have him run around there. Is there a good way? Oh yeah, there's a graph fader, right. Do we wait, do we have another explosive somewhere? Did I see one? An extra one? By any chance? I uh, don't know. So then I could bring it upstairs with me and just throw it at him. Uh, I don't see anything, okay. Just go up. Do I see him though? Are you, uh, is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. Oh. I don't... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. That's... I didn't know you could mark these people. That's super interesting and helpful. Oh, here. Yeah. That's an explosive. And spare parts. Okay, quick save. That totally missed. Did I get him? I guess? Maybe? No, I did not. He's over there. Uh, let's eat something. Why is he over here? That was weird. Just hiding or something? Okay, that was way too far away. <laughs> That's row. All right, it's fine. I tried. He's dead. That's all that matters. Okay, so there's a lot of rooms up here. This this place is huge, and for some reason they lost two labs. Also, they're probably not stacking again. I don't know why they're not stacking. That's super weird to me. Oh, I could repair this turret. Oh, what's this? Why? Oh, it's a snowman! <laughs> a glue... a glue can snowman. Nice. And my inventory is super full. Of 
course it is. Asteroid can't take the beer or the banana. Uh, I guess I could just eat them. Asteroid. Okay. Crazy man. Crazy. What is this? Enter password for small scale testing. Uh, feed is on an engineer operator after you memorize. Macro. To whomever gave dear Mr. Gluey McGlue face arms, aka first shift. I bow to thee. At first I thought the jellied eel uh, hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mr. Gluey McGlue face. Love it. Uh, hello, this is a reminder that if you need to, uh, need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's key code is 7344. If you take anything else, please let me know. Specimen glue adhesive test. Test specimen preparation. The dimension shall be optimized for small-scale test chambers operating at something air change per hour. So it's fine. To achieve the loading factor of blah blah blah. Apply it <laughs> to clean stainless steel sheet metal plates. Thoroughly coated specimen on sheet metal plate successfully with occurrences of minimal waste. Immediately transferred specimen to conditioning environment. Small scale test is successful. Recommend moving to full scale. No glue is still vitreophobic. I don't know what any of this means. Maybe it's testing how strong it is or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I don't know if there's a point. I can't even repair you, so there's probably not even a point to do it anyway. Oh, it's a good timing. I should probably try the pistol on these and see if that one is strong enough to kill them. Rather than using a strong weapon. Okay, that texture just loaded in. Uh, oyster omelette. Oh, it's a lunch... Um, <laughs> lunch decision thing. I needed that at work too. We always had problems deciding what we want to eat for lunch. Always took so long. Like when we went out to get lunch. It's like, where should we go? Dude, they're throwing these wrenches around like it's nothing. Ah, oh, I want these things, but I can't. I can't take any of these things. It's unfortunate. I really need a bigger inventory. Ooh. Nice. Can't take that either. Can't take those though. Can't take this. An experimental device developed in a psychotronics lab which discharges psi nullifying poles when detonated. Wait, isn't that the EMP thing? Is this a different one? Okay. Oh, I can sort it. Here you go. That's new. Okay. Null wave transmitter. Developed in psychotronics, the null wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in a blast for a short period of time. Alright. That might become relevant soon. Who knows? Ooh, missions. Uh... Tathedus, Ta Tadeus, whatever. Please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it, but I've worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. Don't give me stupid ideas. Hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the uh, Pythias facility. It might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. Life support security station. Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors. So I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. I've left everything in working order while I'm out, but just in case I'm sending you the key code to my office. It's 3211. Alright, do we know what the life support thing is? 
Machine Shop. I'm gonna be on this level. Life support. Can't get there yet, I don't think. It's like a red line. Okay. Looks like we can eventually get outside too in space. Oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. it sucks. It's actually. Wait, what is the next uh, inventory slot upgrade? Which one was it? Security, maybe? Engineer? Oh, what's this one here? Yeah. So the next one does inventory space too. Uh, that might be a waste still, I don't know. I might want to get more stealths too, I kind of like the stealth thing, but yeah. I don't know, I'll hang on to them for now. I have so many wrenches, I could probably drop one, to be honest. If I find something really awesome that I want to keep, I'll probably drop one. Alright, we do have the code for this. Um, we could also... I keep forgetting that I can use the glue can uh, gun to like get up high places. Just because I haven't done it yet, I guess. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Start. Apply impact calibration. Did it work? No. Try again. <laughs> Great. Eventually it will work, right? We can also get through here. Shadow's freaking out. Yeah, I can't take any of this. What was that noise? Something hit the outside. Oh, it's me hitting the... It's me hitting the chair. Most of these noises are just me. Renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cauliflower can be substi uh, substituted in many traditional recipes to boost their nutrient payload without compromising on flavor. Phlox, mashed potatoes, pizza crust, cauliflower rice, pellets, and more. But if you're looking to maximize the health benefit of this dimpl uh, dimpled del delicacy, then uh, steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple var variety if you really want to add a blast of color to your plate. Cauliflower. Take it, take it. I can't. I just can't. Oh, it's so sad. Oh yeah, there's still one of these flying dudes down there. Oh no, I definitely need... I definitely need that upgrade kit. Okay. Oh, time to drop that wrench. Uh, X. And then I'll upgrade something. Ah, oh, what do I want to upgrade though? Maybe the pistol? I haven't really used it much though. Can you upgrade the bolt caster? No. <laughs> but I don't know if I already checked that or not. Uh, glue gun. Is this something that would increase hardening them up or something? No. Incapacitation rate. Oh, maybe that is. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay. I oh, already got it once though. Can't do the next one. I need lab tech one, which I could probably unlock. Handling speed. Uh, oops, keep pressing the wrong buttons. I don't know, I kind of like the shotgun. <laughs> I really like the shotgun. But I shouldn't put all my upgrades into one weapon, I don't think. I also like the pistol, so... Firepower. You're just maybe getting more fire... 8 to 9 is not a lot, but we have like lots of rounds in it, right? I'll take this. Alright, and then I could pick up the glue gun. No, I cannot. Okay, I guess I'll pick up the wrench. I'll, I'll come back for all these things later. Yeah, so here, for example, to get over there... Is that door broken or did something walk through it? I think something walked past it. I could probably use the glue gun to kind of build a bridge, right? Actually, can you do this? Like, can you, like... No, you can't attach glue to glue. Right, okay. So it has to be next to a wall. Or I could just use the door, I guess. 
Because <laughs> now I'd have to code, so. Let's quick save. I think there's one of these flying robots in here. I think that's the side. Now that's walking, though. No explosive barrels in here. What's hiding in here? Oh yeah, there he is. Jorgen Thorstein. Um... Okay. Maybe I'll just try to do a sneak attack. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know if they can see you when you lean on around the corner. I guess they can. Okay, maybe I won't do it this way. Can't fool me that many times. I know you're gonna teleport behind me. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. <sighs> I have the sense he resented you. Unfortunate. They all kind of resent me though, because they're freaking alien things. 